So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing extremely well. And this is your very own mass code at this side. In this video, we are going to discuss the question longest subsequence one. It is a GFG question, right? Now the question says that you have to divide with an array. Suppose this is the input array to you: ten, nine, four, five, four, eight, six, right? And now you will have to return me the longest subsequence length, longest subsequence length. But you will say the longest subsequence is the array itself, right? But there is a condition in this subsequence, a i minus a i plus one, that is this absolute difference should be equals to equals to one, right? The question says that this absolute difference should be equals to equals to one. Right, so I guess there is no problem to understand that now the longest of sequence cannot be the whole array or in all of the cases. Right, for example, this if I take this as a subsequence 10, 9, 4, 5, 4, 8, 6, then it is not the it is not holding the property of this. Right, it is not holding the property because 9 minus 4 is actually 5 and it is not a valid subsequence. So, how will I find the valid subsequence? So, suppose 10, 9, 4, 5, 4, 8, 6. So, the opportunity for me is whenever I encounter a problem subsequence, I always try to think in the direction of recursion why because i want to explore all the subsequence i want to explore all the cases explore all cases so how will I explore all cases the first option is 10 9 4 5 4 8 6 this is my input array my first option is form all the subsequences check which is a valid one i am saying form all the subsequences and check which is a valid one in that way you can get the maximum length right check which is a valid one and return the length of longest valid subsequence right this is my first approach so how will I calculate all the subsequences? I will use the take not take approach. Take not take approach, right? I hope there is no problem in that. I will use a take not take approach. Secondly, if that is not the way I can go, what is the way? I will try to optimize it. I will try to optimize it. How will I optimize? So I will use the first approach only. It is I will be forming all the subsequences. But in the process of forming subsequences, so I am saying in the process of forming subsequences try to include the elements which are possible in valid sequence which are possible in valid that is which does not ruin the validity of the subsequence right so for the given example of 10, 9, 4, 5, 4, 8, 6, that is 10, 9, 4, 5, 4, 8, 6. If I mark the indexes, it will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? So if I start with the index 0, because I want to uh, get the answer of the longest, right? So I will start, I will be starting from index 0. So I will be starting from index 0. Now I have no element, I have no element in the current, right? I have not, not in, picked any element. So I will be starting with minus 1. That is my last is right now minus 1. Now at the time of 10, I have two options. So either I can pick it or I cannot pick it. If I pick it, then I will be adding 1 because the length of the sequence will be 1. And I will move to 9. That is index number 1. Now, if I pick it, then uh, my last will be 10, right? Because my current current subsequence contains 10 as the last element. If I not pick it, it will still remain minus 1, right? Moving to 9. 9 can actually have two options now. Pick, not pick. Pick, not pick. If I pick 9, if I pick 9, is it possible? The 10 minus 9 is equal to 1. So it is possible to pick. So I will be picking 9 and it will go to the index 2, but 9 will be my last element. If I do not pick it, it will go to the 2, but 10 will remain the same. Right? Here, 1 minus 1. If it is minus 1, I have not picked any element. And yes, I can pick it. So it will go towards the index 2, but 9 will be my last element. Also, I will be adding 1 here, adding 1 here. Tick means I will be taking 1 and cross means I will not be adding any element. Right? Here, if I don't take it, I will go to index 2 with minus 1 only. Moving forward, I will go to 4, index number 4. Again, can I take it now? 9 minus 4 is equal to 5. No, I cannot take it. 2 minus, uh, so if I don't take it, it will go towards 3, 
with index with last element as 9 only 2 comma 10 can i take 4 can i take 4 if the last element is 10 no i cannot take because 10 minus 4 equals to 6 so i will go to the third index with 10 as my last element here can i take no if i, if, uh, I cannot take but if i not take it will go to 3 comma 10 3 comma 9 sorry 3 comma 9 only if i don't take if i take if i don't take i can do all the operations here because minus one is the last element that means i have not picked out any element up till yet so if i take it it will be go to the third index but your last index will be five last element will be four and if i don't take it then it will go to three with minus one only now i will not draw the whole recursion tree because you can see it is just the half of it and the other half will contain many more many more values because it is going like deep right so this is my brief case uh, the answer will get returned and I will just simply return the maximum of it but I wanted to show that there are overlapping some problems there are overlapping sub problems so whenever I encounter overlapping sub problems I say use dynamic programming now there are two ways to do dynamic programming memoization and tabulation so let me write down the code for the recursion first and then I will be teaching about both memoization and tabulation okay so no, dp first the recursion first sorry so i will be using a function solve which will take my index which i have to explore and my array and my last the base case is if my index equals to equals to my array dot size that is the last element has been passed and i am now standing out of the bounds in that case it turns zero why return zero because now you cannot provide any extra length right now the take case is take and take not take are initially both zero so not take equals to zero if array of i minus array minus last minus last i will taking last right equals to equals to one or minus one i can use the absolute value here also other or if this is not the case or last equals to equals to minus one if both of them any of them occurs take will be equals to one plus solve for next index index plus one with array now last will also get changed because i am picking it so array i right if that is not the case not take will be it is not the else case it is on in the it is in the not take right if i don't if i don't want to take it then solve for next index that is index plus one array and last will remain same only because i have not picked out the element now just simply return because you want the maximum length max of take not take take not take this is a simple recursion case and it will be running in o of 2 to the power n complexity because you are making actually two recurrences right two recurrences so t of n equals to the recurrence relation is t of n equals to 2t n minus 1 right so it will go into the complexity of 2 to the power n but we have encountered that this is a dp problem so i will be using dp here that if dp of now int and last both are changing so if dp of int and last is not equals to minus 1 return return dp of int and last right use the previously stored value and when you are returning store it so dp of int last equals to maximum of take and not take this will be your dp code you will just be using dp here right this is your memoization approach this is your memoization approach now talking about the tabulation approach talking about the tabulation approach so i will not be explaining tabulation view uh, by the way of memoization i will just be exploring tabulation as a case of like previously uh, uh, another problem right so my array was 10 9 4 5 4 and rest values were 8 6 right 8 6 8 6 i will make a dp array of same length like something like this 1 2 1 2 3 4 and 5 6 7 right Six, 7 elements are there right so dp this is my dp array initially all are 0 initially all are 0 now my dpi stores length of maximum subsequent maximum uh, length of longest subsequence sorry length of longest subsequence length of valid longest length of longest valid subsequence i write such that it is starting from ith index starting from 
ith index right ith index that is if the indexes are 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so sixth index will be storing the longest value subsequence which is starting here which is starting here so if the if the subsequence is starting at um, if the subsequence is starting at uh, last index what will be the maximum length it will be one right if i pick it out right now it is also valid because there is no ith no next element so difference is absolutely one only right between all the pairs that can be formed now for all the remaining elements what will i do i will say like suppose i am here i will say that go towards this that is i uh, that suppose this is my j so i will go from i plus 1 to n minus 1 now if array of i minus array of j absolute difference equals to equals to 1 if the absolute difference between them is equals to equals to 1 in that case i will just keep a maximum so maximum initially 0 i will say maximum equals to max of maximum and the element store error, so dp of i, right? And at last, I can say dp of i equals to 1 plus maxi, 1 plus maxi. What I'm doing is, I'm actually trying to find the element just greater than it, that is following the property. And if the frequency of them is greater, then frequency of it will be 1 plus that frequency, right? So if for 8, 6 is not a value, so it will remain 1. 4, no value, 1. 5. I have 4, so it will the subsequence from starting from 5 with the longest length will be 5, 4. So it will be 1 plus 1. So 2, 4, 5, 4. Now I can take this element, so it will be 4 plus or 1 plus 2, that is 3. Talking about 9, 9 will take out 8, so 1 plus 1, 2. 10 will take out 9, and 9 will be 1 plus 2, so 3. So it will be 3, 2, 3, 2, 1, 1, 1. But I want the longest length, that is 3 here. I can also take this 3 also. Right, so I will be answering my answer as 3. So I will have to use another loop to traverse whole this array and find out the maximum element. Let us try to code it down. Alright guys, so here is the coding section. Let me try to write the code for you. So vector of int dp, size will be n only because I want that only and initialize all of them by 0. Now dp of n minus 1, we initialize by 1. Right, or you can skip that also. Right, what will I do now? I will say, I will say int answer equals to 0 currently. And now for int i going from n minus 1, I will go to the first element i plus plus, i minus 1, sorry. What will I do? I will say that int max c is currently 0. And now for int j going from i plus 1 up until j less than n, j plus plus, I will try to find an element that is absolute, uh, that's absolute difference with the current, current element is 1. So if abs of a of i minus a of j equals to equals to 1, that is this is a valid element for the current subsequence. So I will say max c equals to max of current max c and dp of i, dp of j sorry, dp of j. Now after this for loop end, I will have the maximum in my hand and I will say dp of i equals to 1 plus max c, right. Now at the time of updating, I can also update my answer also without uh, using the another loop so answer equals to maximum of answer and the dp just updated right and now i can simply safely return my answer let us try to compile and run it hope it will work fine and as you can see the time complexity of this is o of n square why because i am using an nested loop that is going from i plus 1 to n let us try to submit it as well it should run fine it is running fine so thank you for watching and 164 days stick as you can see we'll meet again in the new video till then keep watching stay tuned and Keep coding, okay? Thank you, have a nice day.